Hey, what's up? Robert here from Robert's Productions. Today, we're going to take a look at adding a cool-looking vintage effect to any of your photos in Photoshop. So, the first thing I'm going to do is duplicate my image layer. Well, actually, the very first thing you should do is take the photo and then bring it into Photoshop and duplicate your image layer by clicking and dragging it down to the new layer icon. Next thing I'm going to do is add a new adjustment layer by coming down here, clicking that, and choosing brightness and contrast. I'm going to bring the brightness up to around 20 and I'm going to come back down here, choose new adjustment layer and this time we're going to add a hue and saturation. I'm going to bring the saturation up to positive 20 and next thing I'm going to do is come back down here to the new adjustment layer, choose curves and I'm going to come up here where it says RGB, click that and choose red and I'm going to modify the red curves I'm going to bring this up around here and this up a little bit. I'm also going to adjust the green curves. I'm going to bring this up slightly and uh, bring this up around here. And I'm also going to adjust the blue curves and bring this down a little bit. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is select my image layer right here. I'm going to go up to filter convert for smart filters and now it's going to ask me if it's all right for the select layer to be converted into a smart object and that's okay so I'm going to click OK because it's okay Photoshop you can do that. Now this layer is converted into a smart object and we're going to go to filter distort lens correction and under the vignette amount I'm going to choose negative 100 and make sure the midpoint is set at positive 50. Click OK and as you can see that is added on here as our lens correction. Now I can change the blending mode for this lens correction by double clicking this little slider icon right here and I'm going to change the opacity of this to 70%. Click OK. Now I'm going to add a little bit more colorization by going down here clicking the new adjustment layer icon and going back to hue and saturation. This time I'm going to check the colorized checkbox here and I'm going to bring the hue up to kind of a goldish color right around there and leave the saturation and lightness uh, as the defaults and I'm gonna bring the opacity of this down to around 50% just so it's not so dramatic now for the final touch I'm gonna go back down here to the adjustment layer icon choose solid color and I'm gonna choose a bright color hot pink magenta color uh, around there click OK and we're gonna set the opacity of this layer to around 5% so barely nothing but it does add some touch so here we have a cool looking vintage effect added to our photo in Photoshop. Now, as you may notice, this effect varies between different photos. So you can play around with all of these settings and uh, these settings are all on separate adjustment layers. So you can adjust these easily to fit your needs. So I hope this helped. Thank you for watching. And until next time, take care.